Champagne Gang, Fizz Fam, Confidants. Welcome to another episode of Fizz Feed Conversations, our opinions, their stories. And for today's show, let's talk about sex. Mm -hmm. Check this out for a second. In tonight's Health Watch, a new sexually transmitted ringworm has been reported in New York City, and it's the first case in the U.S. Doctors say it's a highly contagious, rare fungus. According to a new JAMA dermatology report, the man in his 30s returned to a New York trip from England, Greece, and California. They say he had an itchy red rash on parts of his body. Doctors say the infection appears to respond to antifungal therapies. Those are getting the word out about a sexually transmitted form of ringworm that's newly made its way into the U.S. So far. There's one reported case, and it is here in New York. CBS 2's Christy Kalishian shares what doctors know so far. It's an infection that comes from the same fungus linked to conditions you may know of, like ringworm, jock itch, and athlete's foot. What makes this case a little bit different is it is a uh, type of ringworm that can cause more inflammatory type lesions, and it can occur in the groin area or the genital area. Dr. Avram Kaplan led the study and authored a report published in the journal JAMA Dermatology earlier this week on trichophyton mentagraphitis type 7, or TM7. It's a sexually transmitted infection that can appear like this in the groin area and can be itchy. So far, the one reported case in the U.S. is in New York City. A man in his 30s, the report says. It was reported in a journal, which tells you that it's new. We're still learning about it. Because it's just this one case, I think we're really starting to understand how could this have happened. The study says the patient noticed itchy lesions after a trip to England, Greece, and California, where he said he had sex with multiple male partners. Cases popped up last year in France. Earlier ones were linked to those in contact with sex workers in Southeast Asia. If they have a persistent itchy or painful lesion or eruption around the genital area of the buttocks, that's when they should be seeking medical advice. The rash could be mistaken for other conditions. If left un or improperly treated, it could lead to infection. Doctors say it is treatable thanks to antifungal therapies. City Health Commissioner Dr. Ashwin Vossen says the doctor's office is always judgment free. Shame always gets in the way of yeah. getting healthy. So I would say never feel ashamed to go reach out to your doctor. Doctors say communicating with your partner about having conditions like this is key in preventing the spread. Christy Kalishian, CBS 2 News. Back to the factor uncensored, a very rare sexually transmitted STD has made its way to the United States. A man developed a fungal infection that is sexually transmitted in, in the form of ringworm. My next guest has more details on the case. And Dr. Ali joins us here on the Factor Uncensored to talk about this new STD, or is it new, Dr. Ali, that we have identified in a man in New York City? Uh, Isaiah, it's actually been around for many years. This uh, sexually transmitted disease actually started in India many years ago, back in the 1990s, and then recently has emerged in the European countries. Uh, and then most recently, we got one of our first cases here in New York City. This was actually a gentleman who had traveled from Europe uh, and was staying in New York City uh, that infected another gentleman, and that's how we have had the most recent cases of this sexually transmitted fungal infection. Now, what exactly is this STD? Yeah, Isaiah, this is a ringworm. It's a different form of a fungal infection. Oftentimes, sexually transmitted diseases are bacterial infections, and that's what we commonly see. However, recently, and most uh, recently, this fungal infection is what's emerged, and what we're discovering is that the transmission of this is a sexually transmitted disease, meaning that this goes from person to person, and that's how it's infected. And we have seen this, especially in this case, in the European cases, that there is a significantly higher case of this infection in the gay population, in the men-to-men -men sexual intercourse. However, rarely, but it has been seen, but more rarely is it transmitted from sexual, from female to male or male to female. Mm. This is more in the gay population that we're seeing this um, in a specifically a men-to-men -men contact. 
It's almost scary, like back in the AIDS days where we couldn't figure out where it was coming from, but we knew it was from male to male contact. And that's, this- a good point. Okay. Yeah, that's a good point. And, and the reason why this is important is because the treatment is actually different than other fungal infections and other bacterial infections. So that's why if you have any symptoms, if you have any new rashes that have developed, especially around the perianal area, around your penis or genital area, area, it's very important to get that checked out because there are blood tests for this that can be done. Um, And so that's why it's so important to get assessed because this may not be a bacterial infection. It may be a fungal infection. It needs to be treated different, not with antibacterials, but instead with antifungal medications. But different from from, uh, the the AIDS that we we all once knew about and uh, not deadly though, right? Uh, what's the end result here? If you, yeah, I'd say most of the, what happens? Most of these cases are treated um, and uh, resolved. However, it does take months to, uh, for these symptoms to resolve. And that's why the folks are being uh, encouraged to uh, stay away and be careful if they do have that rash to not spread it to other people uh, and, uh, and get treatment early on. The earlier that the folks get treated with the appropriate medications, the earlier the symptoms resolve and the lesser chance there are of spreading this uh, fungal infection to other folks. And you really hate to point the finger in a situation like this, but what we realized and the guy admitted in New York City was he said he went from country to country and in those countries he had sex with different individuals and then came back and had the current uh, case of STD, the fungal STD that he has. So sex tourism, if you want to call it that, can be dangerous. 100% Isaiah, you're not sure what sorts of uh, infections or sexually transmitted diseases may be uh, uh, that person may be carrying. So yeah, it is very important, especially if this is somebody who you've never been with or this is your first uh, interaction with them uh, from a sexual standpoint, you may want to be extra cautious, uh, you know, and, and be very careful of that because you're right. I mean, especially folks that have been traveling from overseas, other countries, you know, these sorts of things that may not be as prevalent in the United States are prevalent uh, overseas and and those they may be bringing that over and so be very cautious and careful of that absolutely now for those who uh, and I think this right now is the only case in the United States right Dr. Ali Uh, Yes, that is correct. And since then, there have been more cases, but they're all localized still to the New York area. And and, uh, we have not heard of it spreading throughout the country so far. Um, But I do want to caution folks and uh, and make them aware, especially if they're having any sort of rash, nausea, vomiting, fever, chills, those sorts of symptomatic uh, issues to get checked out, get treated uh, appropriately and get the appropriate blood work. Uh, Isaiah, we've talked about this stigma, you know, maybe it'll just go away. Maybe it's just, you know, something else. Get it tested, get it looked at, talk to your doctor about it because otherwise it may linger around a lot longer. It may spread to other folks that, you know, especially your loved ones. And uh, you just really want to be careful if you're having any of these symptoms. So have you guys heard about this crazy new development it don't matter if you haven't that's what i'm here for so scoot up for a second because there's this fungus called trichophyton mentagrophytes that usually causes ringworm in people and pets like cats and dogs but now there's a subtype of this fungus that's been found to be sexually transmitted. That's right, you heard it. Another issue is sex. The CDC recently confirmed the first US case of this sexually transmitted ringworm. This strain is known as Trichophyton mentagrophytes type seven. And it's been reported in other parts of the world like Southeast Asia and Europe, but now it's made its way to the United States. Dr. Avrin Kaplan, a dermatologist at NYU, mentioned that healthcare providers should be on the lookout for this fungus because it's now a part of a group of severe skin 
infections in the U.S. So here's the scoop, right, on the first case in the U.S. A man in his 30s from New York City developed an itchy rash on his genitals, on his buttocks, and on limbs after traveling to England, Greece, and California. He had multiple male partners during his trip, and after a sauna visit, he started showing symptoms. Genetic test confirms that it was T. mentagrophytes type 7. Mm -hmm. Initially, the man was treated with fluconazole, I think that's how it's pronounced, but it didn't work. Then he was given terbinafine and itraconazole, I think that's how you pronounce that, which finally improved his condition. Dr. Y'all, these names are really blowing me right now. <laughs> I'm just going to use his last name. Hazra from U Chicago Medicine said that this rash might look like a jock itch or ringworm, but could also resemble an eczema flare up. Thankfully, even though this fungus can be tricky, standard antifungal treatments in the U.S. still work against it. Dr. Bindu Balani from Hackensack University Medical Center mentioned that topical antifungal creams usually do the job, but more severe infections might need oral medication. Even though this infection isn't fatal, it can cause some permanent scarring. But don't freak out. Dr. Balani assured that with only one known case in the U.S., now press pause. Since this article, there has been more confirmed cases in New York. So New York, be safe. Stay dangerous. It's not something that general public needs to worry about just yet. However, if you or anyone you know has an itchy, an itchy rash that doesn't improve with usual treatment, it might be worth seeing a health professional, especially after sexual activity or going to regions where the fungus is more common. And a heads up, if diagnosed with this fungus, it's a good idea to get screened for other STIs too. Also, seek medical care if you have a rash with symptoms like fever, muscle aches, nausea, or vomiting. Crazy stuff, right? Secrets spill. You know, there was a reason why mama and grandmama told you to keep your legs closed and don't be loose. Save yourself a marriage. I mean, listen, we grown. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Y'all know how we do. And it was so that we didn't have to walk around with the herpes, syphilis, HIV, simplex 12. Or run the risk of having ringworms in the ass. And I heard him that it's rare for men to pass it to women and women to pass it to men. Well, if we remember when the AIDS pandemic started, isn't that the same thing they said with that? It was a homosexual disease. Problem is, a lot of you nasty, dirty so-and-sos are crossing the line. There it is. One minute you want the eggplant, the next minute you want the hot apple pie. And some of y'all are so trifling that you won't even tell your partner you like to poke and be prodded. So now infections and diseases that would have been isolated have become widespread. And y'all still don't see the problem with this free sexual movement, this new age Woodstock. Y'all didn't think this behavior was new, did you? Child, be for real. I want him and him and her and her and him and her together because I'm free and it's my party. I can screw who I want to. Then when you start itching, then you want to stop and cry and woe is me. And I'm not talking about the ones who were tricked and ended up infected with stuff you can't get rid of. Being faithful because Lorena Bobby had the answer for them. I'm just saying, you know. But those who are knowingly ruining people's lives and the ones running around like ignorance is bliss, getting flipped like a pancake for the highest bidder or the one who looks like he has the biggest prank. I'm always very leery of any man slanging peen like hot sauce because what's wrong with it? Is the sauce hot? I'm just saying. You gotta ask these days. And now, y'all better start going to get tested first. Because now you have people walking around with fungus in the anus. Because every two days, there's seemingly some new infection. Y'all better start thinking with your brain and not your putty tat or your third leg before it fall off and you're trying to figure out how to replace it. That's all I have for this one. Drop in the comments and let me know what you think about this new sexually transmitted disease or infection or whatever you want to call it. Either way, it's transmitted by sex. And it's a problem. Drop in the comments and let me know what you think about it. Hit that like and subscribe button. Consider becoming a confidant yourself. Thank you for joining us in FizzFeed Conversations. Our opinions, their stories. Until next time, see you soon.